Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. Last time we went back to Windfall Island and did a few side quests. We were also able to stop by Cyclos, get the Ballad of the Gales to be able to warp around. We hung out with Beetle a little bit. We eventually wound up here on Rock Spire Island, blew up these rocks. And uh, we're going to explore this sneaky dark hole. Now, I have to make a bit of a an, ad, an admission here. I did make an oops. Um, so, one of my favorite speedrunning tactics, which I feel is really important that you should always do, I'm going to show it to you right now. You go up here, and you do this. Uh, you save. Do you know what I didn't do after the last recording, viewers? I didn't do that. So, if you like making progress and saving it, if you could like this video, comment, and subscribe. I also made a bit of a change. As you can see, the beetle shop that circles Rock Spire had the bottle, the heart, and the treasure chart. And the treasure chart. I went with the bottle this time because I feel like that probably has more utility than a piece of heart for now. But once we are in possession of more monies, we'll come back and we'll make something of it. So anyway, let's go! I teased this hole last time. Didn't fully explore it. So we're going to do that today, and then we're going to do a little bit more... It, it could be construed as a little bit of random exploring, but... Whatever. There's going to be a lot of really big stuff that comes up soon in the game, and so... I don't want to miss anything. Oh, there's a lot of bats. Hello. This is why we got the boojumerang. Whoa. Oh, okay. And boop, 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 boop. And see ya. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. That's very fulfilling for some reason. Oh, this is the part where you don't want to lock on, actually. Oh, they are hurting me. But yeah, that's why my rupee count is off, obviously, because I spent 900 initially for the piece of heart, and the bottle was only 500, so it will be slightly offset for a little bit. And if you don't like that, then that's just tough rupees. All right, so this is kind of annoying. I don't know if you get anything for doing this. What the heck is the boomerang doing? It was taking the scenic route there. It's like, hold on, I'll be there in a minute. Also, we got the cabana deed. So at some point I will want to check that out. I don't even know where that is. I tried to get that treasure chart off the cabana ledge, if you remember that. And I failed miserably. Where are you? Hello? Hello? There you go. It's like one of my favorite things to do in Breath of the Wild is when you have that big horde of keys that fly at you and you can just take one of the remote bombs and just blast them in the smithereens. That is a good time. Killing wildlife is fun. All right, here we go. They attacked me first. It was self-defense. Treasure chart. Hey, yo. Okay. So that's very nice. So now we can go into the portal. We will go back. That animation looks a little creepy, to be honest. All right. So we gotta hop back in the old boat. He's very far away. It'd be nice if there was a boat recall system, but there is not. This game is not for the lazy. Yep. You tell him, Link. No, I don't want to talk to you at all. I actually probably will grab... I was being a little bit lack lackadaisical with my, with my money because I didn't think I was going to need it that soon. And I thought I was going to get some from the Tower of the Gods, but I was wrong. The beetle shop is actually what I was alluding to the entire time, actually, when I was referring to that, of needing money. So, here we go, and whoop, and stop, and great. At least these show up a little bit longer than some of the, oh my gosh, I'm hitting the wrong button. The swirly circles show up a little bit longer than the treasure chart things, which is nice. Okay, take your time, game. Not trying to make progress here. There we go. Might as well grab it on the way. I'm very much a, if you can do it in the moment, do it. I have a two minute rule in my life, personally. Anything that I can do that takes two minutes or less, I do it. Uh, and that includes uh, the, old, the old turd. And that does not normally happen very often with this guy. All right, so we are going to head back to Windfall, actually, really quickly. 
I completely forgot about there being one more thing I needed to do. Which is not... Oops. Great. Love this. Okay. Someday there will be a compilation of every time that I have failed to use the Wind Waker. And it will be a lot. Okay. But anyway, what I was trying to say before I was being a big old goof is we need to go back to Windfall because there's a couple treasure charts that we can get in a very awkward way. And I thought about doing this in the last episode, but I forgot. And then I didn't save any of it. So technically, we are clean slate right now. As fresh as a solar eclipse. Hopefully you all enjoyed that. I know I talked about it a little bit in Mario Odyssey. But that was a pretty cool event for those of you who got to see the totality of the eclipse. I thought it was fun. Anyway. So, right around in this area here, there's going to be a couple of ladies. And we're going to need to talk to them. So we're going to do the Song of Passing. For those of you who don't remember, I don't. That's why I looked. Bit of a tutorial for my brain. Okay, here we go. So these lovely ladies here. Oops. Nope. Don't care about you. You've already been helped. Stop talking to me. All right, here we go. These lovely ladies have a little bit of gossip. They're spewing around. The mysterious pictographer, Lenzo. So Lenzo obviously is the guy who runs the pictograph shop. And they're trying to figure out, does Lenzo have a lovely lady in tow? So let's go ahead and get our paparazzi on. First thing, we're going to change the wind. The one thing I do remember every time is, thankfully, the Wind Waker song. Or melody, or whatever you want to call it. Alright, so we need to get this windmill flapping. That's our first order of business. I think I need to take this ladder. Is this it? Hold on. Who are you? All right. No. Not it. Great. Viewers, I'm doing awesome. There's another ladder. Uh, where is it? We're looking for a ladder that is behind the... Sinking Ships minigame? Is it up this ramp? I don't know where I'm going. Uh, we want to activate the windmill. I'm not seeing... Hold on. Patience, please. Calculating, calculating. <laughs> there it is. That's the ladder. We need to get this windmill going. Spin it right around, baby. This is a very long ladder. And we'll actually be doing... Actually. Well, we will actually... Be doing more with this in a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now we can... Let go. Break Link's knees and ankles. We're going to go inside. But we're not going to do any gaming today. No gaming in my game. If you put your game in your game, then you... Okay. So, we want to go upstairs. Doing so will allow you to leave. And... We can come out here. Three... Oh, oh. Hello, who are you? Oh, they call it a Ferris wheel? You ever been on a Ferris wheel, viewers? They're pretty sweet. Also terrifying. Assuming it is a guy? Why couldn't a woman be doing the Ferris wheel strutter upper -y, huh? Yeah, thanks, buddy. I already know that, but anyway. The goal here is we would like to take a ride yep. on the Ferris wheel. And we're going to do that. We need to go and visit our boy, Lenzo. Whee! 
this is fun, huh? Oh yeah. Keep an eye on that beacon at the top, by the way. We'll be coming back to that later. We're going to be trying to land onto the balcony of Lenzo's house. Which we can do here in just a moment. Right here. There we go. Little sneaky snake move for you. We're in Lenzo's house. So how about we steal his stuff? That sounds fun, right? So obviously Link doesn't do it in this game. But I was watching a video about the making. There's another treasure chart for you. The making of the Legend of Zelda series, especially Ocarina of Time. I believe that's kind of what the focus of that video was. And ooh, the game was like, you are not getting your sword out. Um, and they talked about how they spent thousands and thousands of dollars trying to properly figure out what was the best way to showcase Link in that game, Ocarina of Time. Opening a chest. They just could not figure it out for the longest time. Because, you know, in other Zeldas up to that point, there really wasn't something like that that happened. You just kind of interacted with it like Link to the Past, and then ta-da! You just had it. So they finally came up with the idea to have him kick the lock on the box, and then boom. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get our Picto box out. We're going to go ahead and get our pick. My game frozen. What is it doing? Uh, do I have to be outside? I might have to be outside for this. The game is like, you are not switching your items in here. You're being a bingus. There we go. For a second, I got a little panicked. I'm still a little panicked because this is not working. Hold on. The game does not want to let me do this. All right. What is happening? Probably shouldn't have done that. That was dumb. I'm trying to change the winds here and see if this is just going to fix my item switchery not happening. Should be able to, there we go. The good old Wind Waker. That's awesome. Now I only wasted a ton of time doing that. Anyway, we still have to do what I was trying to do. So now we will ride the windmill again. So I will see you in just a second. All right, viewers are back. That only took longer than it should have. Thank you game for glitching on me. It's time to do a little spying. Let's see if we can catch Lenzo in the act. Does he have a, lo a lover? A lady? A mistress? Are we fulfilling the gossip of these... women? Alright, so now that we're here... Let's see if we can... snap a picture of these two hanging out. They're just chatting. Oh. Okay, okay. Oh. Gotcha. What are you doing here? Oh, you know. Just trying to take a picture of you in the act. Like how they just stand still and pose. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Don't mind me. Just peeping on you. I'm just peeping. Nothing like proving some old ladies wrong. Here we go. Here's your proof that you were wrong. Yeah, that's it. Now pay up. Mm-hmm. Shane is girlfriend. She just his picture girlfriend. Old friends who share a hobby. That's what we call it nowadays. Oh, they were just sharing a hobby. That's right. So now we are giving letters and... Not letters, lessons. I can't even talk. 
Lessons in morality. Your naughty- what? Your naughty little boy found that somewhere? I don't know what that's about. Alright. So I do believe that we now have the Cabana Deed. I don't believe that, I know it. We have the Cabana Deed now. Oops. Okay, get in the boat. And I believe I was told by, what's her face? That it is southeast of here? I think that's what she said. I hope it is. I don't really remember. So what we're gonna do is we are going to, um, we are going to go and check out the cabana deed really quick and see kind of what that's all about. Not 100% sure what it is, but, uh, I mean, we've seen the, we've seen the cabana, but we weren't able to really get into it, which was kind of unfortunate. Um, so, you know, obviously it would be nice to check out our new digs. I, I think it's a good idea to go and do that and see what's available for us now that we own this. I think that's what she said. Is that where we're headed? Let's check the map. Yes. What is this? Fire Mountain? We don't do that. I don't know what this also was referring to, so we will check it out. Viewers, does that sound good? Does it sound like it's a thing that you would like to do? Because too bad, I'm in charge. It's okay. I'm not going to do anything that would upset you, of course, viewers. It's all for the greater good, you know. We're headed to the private oasis. I believe it was... If I had to guess, it's it's quite a ways down there. I think it was like, hold on, it was by the Tower of the Gods. I thought that that's where we saw it last. So, Tower of the Gods is here ish. So that would be one, two, maybe this square. I wish we would mark things on our map. Can we use the the Ballad of the Gales to get down there faster? Hold on. And just a little refresher. I really do have to actually look at that every time. <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed for myself. Um, it looks like... It's like right below this one? I think. That's just a guess. So hopefully I'm right. Hopefully I'm right. Because I don't want to be wrong. Be wrong sucks. But if we do find it, then we can check it out. Alright. Hello, Tower of the Gods. Long time no see. Alright, so we need to do... We want to go south one square. Boop, 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 boop. And maybe I can try to grab that one treasure chart that I couldn't before. Oh, did I give the, hold on. I have not filled in the square yet. Not that I really care about doing this, but you know, when you get addicted to filling in map squares. Whoop. Hello, fish. I don't think we've done this one. Whoa, the game's like blah, blah, blah. Yeah. All right, what you got for us, dude? Scribble me timbers. There you go. That's our map septum piercing. The triumph forks, what? Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of money, especially for getting the tingle charts. I don't remember enough about that to really give you an accurate description on what that means, but it will happen. Also, I don't know what the little, like, weird nipples on the island chart are. I think these are, like, where we have treasure charts or something. Either where we can get them or where we already have them. I don't know the difference. Oop, we need this. More money, 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 whoop. 
Did I nail it? I didn't. Well, in that case, I guess we're just going to have to be cruising for a second. Oh, I definitely overshot it. I was like, oh, yeah, I got it. Definitely did not get it. Yeah, I was at a point where I was feeling pretty cavalier about not needing to get a ton of money. And then, you know, the game was like, actually, you're probably going to want to have a ton of that more than you thought. So this is what I get for compensating. Ooh, I was not expecting the music of the game to clip into that. All right, where is... I guess I'm just going to probably grab all of these when I see them now. Just make kind of make sense. And whoop. Might as well get, get as much... Because I mean, we, we have the big old wallet now. So technically we can get as much money. I think we can get up to 5000 or maybe it's ninety nine ninety nine. I don't know. But these always feel good. Yeah, I'm feeling like this game is like messing with me. Hold on, am I in the right square? Like I did a little bit of a D. Oh, there we go. Home sweet home. We can get the fish here too. Man, I am just nailing it, viewers. Weather's getting bad around here though. It's ruining our island paradise. Stay away from me. Come here, fish. I remember when I was a kid, I had a goldfish and it was a family goldfish, I guess. It wasn't mine. I didn't have single ownership of the goldfish, but... I do remember the thing getting up to like, I don't know, like eight to 10 ounces. It was very large, very large goldfish. It was actually the inspiration for the cracker. All right, very cool. We are making a ton of little progress in this episode. Uh-huh, you told me that already. I don't care. It was not a waste, 100% waste, but yeah, so we're... Yeah, this is called the Private Oasis for now. I don't know if it changes the name once we step inside it. But... Here we are. We made it. There's this goober here. Get off my property. And no music, of course. Very uplifting. This is where, if you remember... We... Needed to get up on that ledge there's a chest up there you can see it from here right in the right above where the umbrella is did a really great job of not getting to it so i'm going to try it a couple moments here before i step inside our new humble abode i don't know if there's a better spot on here that is like highest or what but i'm going to try it i think it was southeast we needed to make the wind go maybe i mean you'll notice here in a second. Whoa! Yeah, that's it. We need our Deku Leaf. Hopefully the game has stopped glitching and will let me switch my items at will. Alright, I'm nervous about this. Okay. <laughs> so I'm only I'm I'm gonna be reasonable here. And I'm gonna try maybe two more times. I don't want to get too heavy handed about this because we're running short on time and I don't want to waste time. All right. So I don't know. I don't know where the best spot is to get up to that. That's, that's where I would think, but Is there any other part of the railing that seems to be more judicial? Ooh, there you go. You just had to go a little bit more to the left. Wow. I spent many times screwing that up. Right, I'm going to be very careful here around the outside. I think this is another treasure chart. We're getting a lot of those actually in this episode. This would be the third or the fourth one, which is nice. Heck yeah. All right. So that was worth it, I guess, sort of, right? Whoop, so we can go back to... Wow, this is incredibly slow. Probably also because I'm going against the wind, which is really smart and just burning all of my magic. Alright, this is stupid. <laughs> I was trying to be cool and paraglide into my new home, but anyway, here we go. Uh, excuse me, you're talking to the owner of this home. 
Show some respect, old man. And we have the... Uh, how do we show them the deed? Is it an item? It's gotta be. There we go. Yeah, you punk. Uh-huh, that's right. I am Master Link. You need to back off. Show some respect yourself. Oh, okay, now he's changed his tune. He still wants to get paid. I get it. Please be gentle on this fine door. Only the back door. Alright, let's check out our new digs. Okay. Cozy. I can't tell if this is an actual person or if it's... Just a statue? This is really creepy. Can we knock these off the fireplace? Okay. Ooh, it's the snot boy! Huh. We have our own little tub? Apparently we can't roll into these, which is very upsetting. Oh, it looks like a snot boy puzzle. The amusements of nobility, is that what this is? Sure. I would like some money though. Okay. Ooh, this is one of these, huh? Hold on. I probably should take a look at the... <laughs> Sadly, I must quit. No, you're fine. As a door. Why are we being talked to by sentient furniture? Alright. So it looks like there's a little bit of a pathway. The booger boy is towards the bottom. So the yellow is towards the bottom. The pathway is towards the top. I like how sometimes I say these things in my head and I'm like, oh yeah! And then I immediately forget what I said. Okay. Please enjoy yourself. Alright. I think that's that. I remember doing these types of games when I was a kid. Never was any good at them. Um, so we're trying to get the yellow stuff at the bottom. And we want to get Burger, Burger Boy, Booger Boy to the right. It kind of does a little bit of the work for you. Not a ton, but... Okay. This is very exciting. I'm considering speeding this up because this is not ideal. This is not exciting. So I think I'm going to just show you the solution, which you've already seen, but me having done it on this side. So I'll see you in a second. Viewers, I've done it. Booger Boy is complete. Oh, I am not proud to admit how long that took me. Oh boy. And for our efforts, the door <laughs> poops money at us. Very cool. Let's go ahead and grab that. I'm not sure exactly how much this is. And was this worth the amount of time it took me to do it? The answer is no. All right. Well, that's probably all for now. If you leave and come back, you can do, I think, 15 more of those different types of puzzles. Which, if you're into that, that's great. Didn't enjoy that particularly, but if I need money, I might pop back in and do it. But, that's all for today. So we're going to actually do some plot movement in the next episode. So look forward to that. Otherwise, I'm going to call it for today's episode. I've been D-Mike. 
This has been The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. If you enjoyed this episode, if you could like, comment, subscribe, watch the YouTube shorts, and save your progress. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.